travel. In this module, you will learn the various reasons for traveling and recall the different means of transport. Reasons for traveling People travel from one place to another for various reasons. To fulfill their need to go sightseeing or get some fresh air. To go to their place of work. To go to the market to buy things. To go to other places in the neighborhood. To visit far off places during holidays. For various religious and social activities. To meet friends and relatives. Travel We travel from one place to another every day. Some places are near and some are far. We go to the school, visit relatives, go to the market, restaurants, etc. Our parents go to the office every day. Some people travel long distances. We travel on foot to nearby areas. We use various types of vehicles to reach far off places. Means of transport Means of transport refer to various mechanical devices that transport people and goods from one place to another. There are a variety of such devices. They help us to move faster and cover long distances. Means of transport are divided into three categories. Land transport, water transport, air transport. We all use different means of transport according to our requirement, distance to be covered and budget. Means of land transport To travel short distances on land, we use rickshaws, bicycles, scooters, motorcycles and cars. Buses are also used to cover long distances on road. We can also move goods from one place to another by road with the help of trucks. Railways Trains run on rails, so we call them railways. Hundreds of people can travel in one passenger train. Tons of goods can be carried by a goods train. Indian Railways is the second largest railway in the world. The first railway line in India was built in 1853 and ran from Mumbai to Thane. Today, local trains connect millions of people with their homes and places of work. Metro Rail System It has already been introduced in Kolkata and Delhi. It has eased traffic congestion on city roads. At the railway station, trains start and end their journey at a railway station. Many people work at the railway station. The station master is the head of the railway station. There are porters who carry the luggage of passengers. Heavy luggage is transported by hand carts. Trains have a guard who checks the timings and blows the whistle to tell the driver of the train to start. The ticket collector 
checks the tickets and verifies the reservation of every passenger. There are many other railway workers on the station. Some of them supply food, water and other eatables in the train. Some clean the toilets and wash basins. There are many stalls at the railway station selling refreshments, magazines, etc. Means of Water Transport It is the oldest and the cheapest mode of transport. Yacht Speedboat Boat Ship and motor boat are means of water transport. Ships are used to carry heavy and bulky goods. Submarines move under water. Water scooter is used for fun and sports. Water scooter is used for fun and sports. Means of air transport. It is the fastest and the most expensive means of transport. It covers long distances in a short time. We can reach far off places in a few hours. Aeroplane Helicopter and hot air balloons are the means of air transport. Let's recap. People travel for different reasons and use different means of transport to travel according to the distance and their budget. Means of transport can be divided into three categories, land, air and water transport.